interpreting the logistic regression analysis results differs a bit from normal regression analysis interpretation. Let's take a look at the results from logistic regression analysis using the Menars dataset. The R GLM command gives us these results. So we'll just focus on the actual uh, coefficients for now and leave these other things for another video. Uh, we have the estimate, which is uh, an estimate. Then we have standard error, which quantifies uh, how much the estimate is likely to change from one sample to another if we repeat the study over. We have a z-value, which is the ratio of the estimate divided by standard error. So the z-value is the same as the p-value in regression analysis. It is called a, a, a z-statistic instead of t-statistic because the maximum likelihood estimates are based on large sample theory and instead of comparing against the t-distribution, we compare this against the normal distribution. So under the null hypothesis that this uh, estimate is zero in the population and if the sample size is large enough, the z-value follows standard normal distribution and that allows us to calculate the p-values. So whether an age has an effect or not can be interpreted from these p-values. We can see that age has a large, uh, a very statistically significant result. So we can confidently say that age has some kind of effect on the probability of having had Menards. What is the magnitude of that effect is a bit more complicated question to answer. We really can't say that the probability of having had Menards increases by 1.6 when the girl gets one year older. The one reason is that a 1.6 increase gets us beyond the range of, uh, of the data. So if the uh, probability is zero, initially you increase age by one, the predicted probability would be 1.62. So it doesn't work that way. The reason why we can't interpret this directly is that these are the effects before we apply the logistic link function. So these are effects on the linear predictor and not on the actual dependent variable. So it's the same thing like in when you do a log transfer from dependent variable, then the interpretation is in uh, the, uh, the coefficient tells you what is the effect in log scale and uh, you want to know what's the effect in the original scale. This coefficient here tells you what is the effect in the scale of the linear predictor, but you are not really interested in that. You are interested in what is the effect on the observed variable scale. So we don't interpret these directly. Instead, we interpret them as odds ratios. So the odds ratio is uh, a concept that is uh, useful for regression analysis and for some other, for logistic regression analysis and for some other models as well. The idea is that odds are the ratio of two outcomes. So here we have uh, the outcome of girl having had, girl ha having had Menards and not having had Menards. So it's uh, if uh, one in 100 girls have had Menards, then odds for having had Menards is one to 99 because one out of sample out of 100 has had it and then uh, not remaining 99 hasn't had it. You can think of uh, one common use of odds is, is in gambling. So if you have a team, two soccer teams, one has won two matches in the past, another one has won five matches in the past, then you say that based on that data the odds for the first team winning is two to five. So that's the idea of odds. And uh, more formally the, the if the probability of an outcome is p, then the odds is defined as uh, p against 1 minus p. So it's the probability of one outcome divided by probability of another outcome, if you have only two possible outcomes. And uh, the exponential, if you exponentiate the logistic regression coefficients, those can be interpreted as, as odds ratios. And the idea is that uh, when you exponentiate the coefficients, then uh, the coefficients tell you that one unit increase in uh, independent variable causes the odds to change proportionally to the, the regression coefficient. I'll show you an example. 
let's take a look at the, the idea of odds ratio and why we can interpret these coefficients as odds ratios. So example odds for the data and this is the some, some guess of the results. We have the linear prediction, we have the fitted like probability, and we have fitted odds which is there are the, the there are like the probability against the other probability and we calculate the value. So the odds for this first girl having had men arts is 74 to 26 which is 2.79. The odds for the second girl is 8 to 92 which is 0 0.09 and so on. So these are the odds and uh, when we calculate marginal predictions, so in regression analysis we are interested in the marginal effect. What is the increase of one independent variable, what's the effect of increasing one independent variable by, by one unit holding everything else constant. So we are interested in marginal effects. And let's calculate marginal effects now for girls at different ages. So instead of using this actual data we have a hypothetical girl at age of 9, 10, 11, 12 and so on. We calculate the fit the probabilities using our, our model and uh, we calculate odds we calculate the value of the odds and when we compare two uh, odds here, the ratio of these two zeros, they are actually not exactly zero, is 4.6. So every time we go and we increase the girl's age by one, then uh, the odds increase by 4.6. So every additional year increases the odds by 4.6 units. So that's the odds ratio implementation. So these always increase uh, 4 pi by, by 4.6. And uh, how we use that in regression analysis? Well, we calculate the odds ratios and uh, this is for, for the actual data. So uh, we calculate the odds ratio which is about 5 and uh, the interpretation is that each additional year of age increases the odds of having had Menards by fivefold. So that kind of quantifies how large is the effect of age. We know that if something is increased fivefold then it's pretty large effect. The problem still is that with odds ratios we can't really say how much does the actual probability increase because odds and probability are not the same thing and quite often we want to know how much does the probability of having at men arts depend on the age, depend on the age and what does the, uh, the effect look like. To do that we would need to plot the marginal predictions from the model.